I did a very long blog and so we need to break it up into two parts. We're going to show what we ate in a day, our normal vlog, and then part two is going to be our very long grocery haul where we take you throughout the store, which is Bash's, and show you our grocery haul. Hope everybody's staying safe and healthy and we'll see everybody on this vlog. Good morning everyone. This is my official good morning now that I have my makeup on and I got a little bit, oh, got my hair curled and I'm ready for the day. We got up this morning at 5.30 and got um, dressed and got over to Bashes right when they opened at 6 o'clock. Um, and the reason for that is, is that's when they stock and everything and it was awesome you guys. I got everything I needed their shelves and we're going to share all of that with you um right after this so that you guys can see it but i even got right bacon Woohoo! score we won the lottery we got toilet paper i got the only hamburger in the big size that they had you could only get four meats total i got hamburger and chicken and the pulse of kielbasa didn't count i got two of those i got all kinds of stuff and you guys will see that on my um grocery haul right after this how did everybody do you guys how did everybody do for easter did you guys have a great easter we woke up and we kept hearing the ho uh, horn honking like bonk 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 and i thought is mom outside? Does she need something? I got up and went out and the neighborhood had a truck with a guy in a total bunny suit with a big thing of candy and people were coming out and he was throwing candy to everybody um, for Easter and there were cars lined up with uh, decorations and stuff on it. So I don't know I would kind of be leery about my kids getting candy from an Easter bunny that I didn't know, but I thought that was very nice to do. Um, I didn't film it because I jumped up out of bed thought thinking it was my mom and it wasn't, but um, that was kind of nice. We had a great day yesterday. Mom came over and we watched uh, the original Jesus Christ Superstar um, opera movie film. Brought back a lot of memories from when we were young and we saw it for the first time. We watched uh, the new uh, Dr. Doolittle, which she loved. She absolutely loved that. I made a great cauliflower and cheese casserole, which you guys will see on my little Easter. I wasn't going to film, um, but then I just did just a few things just because of that casserole. And um, I hope everybody stayed keto. If you don't, if you didn't stay keto, don't beat yourself up. Just jump back on. And get back on the keto wagon, you guys. Make your next meal keto. And you guys should be good to go. Don't beat yourself up. Don't eat the candy. Don't eat the kids' candy, you guys. You guys can have chocolate. You guys can have fat bombs. So don't eat stuff with sugar in it. Please. Don't eat stuff with sugar in it. Not now. Not during this zombie apocalypse pandemic virus. Because I have a feeling just like anything, it feeds off of sugar. And if you're eating sugar and carbohydrates, you guys, I don't know. I just don't feel like it's right at this time. I think you're going to be healthier and stronger uh, immune system if you guys don't eat carbs and you don't eat sugar at this time. Anyway, folks, I am intermittent fasting. I am having a rainbow unicorn bang. And you're going to see... On our grocery haul that we totally stocked up on bang oh my gosh i think i got like 24 cans of bang just a few but harry and i both eat bang drink bang excuse me we drink it we eat it too in jello form as you guys would see from my other vlog that i had where i made jello with bang matter of fact i'll link that below because that was fun it was delicious and it was pretty Anyway, folks, when I do break my fast, I have a feeling it's going to involve right bacon. 
and eggs because we've got eggs too. Anyway, folks, I have got to get to work now. I've got to get on, got to log in, and got to get to work. So I will see everybody when I break my fast. We didn't weigh ourselves this morning because we got up so early and we needed to get to the grocery store right away. So by the time I was all done with that and needed to get ready for work when we got home, I didn't have time to do any of that stuff. So um, anyway, I weighed 180.7 on 412. So I was very excited about that. That was yesterday morning. And um, I hopefully I'm going to be on a downward trend. You guys, I want to get under 179.8. That's where I want to get. So this is that hard area that I need to get down past that. Anyway, folks, I think I am going to go put some bacon in the oven. I'm going to get that right bacon and I am going to put it on a cookie sheet and I am going to have bacon and eggs I think I think I am Harry went to lay down for a little while um because he got up like at 3 30 he couldn't sleep so um by the time 5 30 rolled around he'd already been up so maybe I'll wait just a little bit longer it's 10 30 maybe I'll wait till 11 and then get him up and then get the bacon in and by the time that's done and everything else will be closer to noon so I've been sitting here sipping on my bang and I got my uh, financials done so I've got to get some of these invoices done now so I will see everybody a little bit later but I'm excited because I'm on a downward trend finally again and moving forward with my weight so I'm excited about that so there is my one 80.7 that I weighed in yesterday at and as you guys can see from our weight it's been a downward trend right here high it's gone down 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 yesterday was the 180.7 you can see that I'm going down in that downward trend that I talked about and I want to beat this 179.8 right here so that's what I'm looking to do you guys that's my big goal. Oh, something I forgot. It's very exciting. I'm very excited. Very excited. And you know what? This necklace keeps like catching my hair. If you guys see me playing with it, the the, the hooky do latch is catching in my hair. It's driving me nuts. I measured myself yesterday. Okay? So from February 16th till yesterday, I have lost a total of 33.85 inches, you guys. Whoop, 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 whoop. I am so excited. You guys, when I started in February, my waist was 45 inches. And yesterday it was 36.5. Two, oh, 36 and a half inches. So from 45 to 36 and a half inches, you guys. Woo, man. And my abdomen, which I'm, I'm measuring my, my waist up where my natural waist is. And my abdomen is where my belly button is. So I went from a 49.5 down to 41. 41 inches, you guys. I was so excited about that. And my hips, my hips went from a 46 and a half to 43. Woo! Now, this is weird. My neck went from 15.75 down to 13.75. I lost two inches on my neck. I have some necklaces that hit me here, and now they hit me down here. It's amazing. I have this little cross that used to hit me, like, right here, and now it, like, hit me. It hits me right here. I am just so jazzed, you guys. So jazzed. Over 33 inches. Because I was in an 1820 and I am in a 12. Okay. I was in an X, XL or XL when I started. And I'm in a large or, or medium, depending on who makes it. You know how that goes. But my pants are a 12. Every pants I've gotten, pants, shorts, capris, they're all a size 12 now. 
So I am so excited. I just had to share that with everybody because that just, I was like, oh my gosh, how cool is that? So anyway, folks, it's a really exciting when you see those, that's a non-scale victory as far as weight's concerned to lose that many inches. It's awesome. How many inches have you guys lost? List below. Tell me. Tell me what your weight is. What you started at, what your weight is now, and how many inches have you guys lost? That's exciting. I want to cheer you guys on. Let me know. Okay, folks, I've got some right bacon on the cooking sheet. This is thin this way, but thick this way. So it'll be interesting to see how this cooks. I think I'll cook it on 25 minutes first, don't you think? on 35 minutes, or 25 minutes. This was from yesterday. Bake for and 25 minutes. Yep. Push. Alexa, set timer for 25 minutes. 25 minutes, starting now. Soon to be bacon. So Harry is awake and we, our bacon is right out of the oven. It is 1231 and we are going to break our fast as soon as these little eggs get cooked. Mm, mm, mm. So we're each going to have three pieces of bacon and three eggs. Look where one of my eggs ended up. It slid right off the spatula. Yes, it's on the floor. But the good news is I saved some. It just slipped right off. Yeah, that one's Harry's. That right there. That one's Harry's. So I guess Sally gets more egg. Whoop, that was pretty good. Nice flip. Nice flip. That's Sally's. And while I dropped my egg, Harry spilled his coffee all over his desk. She's going, I got it. Yeah, I gotta wash the floor anyway. Yeah. Oh, and I put another one in. Good, done. good girl, yes. She says, I'm just helping. Yeah. I'm just helping. Doing my part. She's just helping. Okay. Oh. Two, two. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. One. Okay, folks. I'm going to stop this and eat so that Harry can finish cleaning up his mess. I'm going to clean up my mess and then we're going to break fast. I want my usual four. Four. <laughs> You're such a butthead. You know what? Today I'll give you four. I don't even care. Well, they're little. I made, they're, they're thin. They're thin. And you want four also. I do. I bet. I can tell. No, I think. What? I think I'm going to have three. Crazy. That's okay. from the bacon we bought this morning. This is this is the right bacon, you guys. This is the right bacon. Yep. It's the right one. I put that private select thick cut big old stuff that we split up yesterday right into the freezer so I can have this. I'm excited. Let's give it a taste test. Let's see. Mmm, look at that. That is a piece of beautiful bacon. steak that I had marinating and yes I changed my clothes I splashed bacon grease or egg all over my slacks that I had on don't why do you show up people my goofy outfit stop it <laughs> I, I have things that are comfortable like my momos these are like comfort clothes comfy cozy clothes they're not supposed to show people Loungewear. Anyway, 
look I marinated this in Italian seasoning and a little bit of um, red wine vinegar and some olive oil and now we're gonna cook it so put that in and I'll tell you what a day you dump coffee I throw an egg on the floor I get stuff all over my pants this better turn out good. The bacon was delicious. Yeah, it was. It really and was good. And the eggs were too. Yes, and they Sally were. And Sally gets egg for dinner. Yeah, it's true. She's excited. Yeah. yeah. Okay, folks, I'll show you when it's dinner, but it's going to be steak. Super easy. What do you got? Well, I don't, I can't. Oh, that sun is just right on that plate. I'm trying to check the, the beef. Well, should we just let this sit? And... How's it looking, son? It looks like it's medium rare. Look. Well, honey, get off my arm, honey, so I can cut. Oh, honey, turn to the side a little bit. <laughs> Oops. Okay, if I get splashed. No, see, that looks beautiful. We'll mm -hmm. just wait. So what we're doing, folks, is we are having steak. Mmm, that's perfect. We are going to have chocolate. Chocolate and coffee sweet coffee and chocolate for dessert. Anyway, folks, I hope you guys like what you see. Please like, subscribe, ring that bell. Hey, share our information. Get the word out there that you've got two crazy people that do keto and um, tell them to give us a watch. Anyway, folks, I hope everybody's having a great day. Good night. We're gonna let this sit for five minutes, Harry. So, Alexa, set timer for five minutes. Thank you.